Okay, so what is uh, most uh, important uh, for startups, for fresh startups? Uh, in general or? In general, uh, yeah. What's most important for fresh startups? Um, validate your business idea. It's the most important thing. And how to do that? Talk to your customers, talk to your users. Um, so you have an idea, um, go to your possible end users and customers, talk to them, ask them like, what are the pain points, uh, what would they like, and don't start right away with a solution. So just interview them in general, just asking what kind of problems they're having, like in the context of your business idea. Just get a lot of information and then start talking about your idea, whether they would use it, yes or no, and just get a lot of feedback. Validate all your assumptions and then start building. So wait with the building and start validating your assumptions first. Mm -hmm. And um, what, what most uh, um, common trends are now in, in your accelerator? Common trends in terms yeah. of business ideas. Yeah. yeah. Um, if I look at the applications, a lot of applications were um, again, social orientated. So people want to buy, like, for instance, Pinterest uh, type of things. Um, Build like small social networks, either interest-based or like to help travelers uh, for to connect to the local experience. Um, yeah, a lot of social stuff you see. Um, what other trends? Uh, a lot mobile. You see a lot of mobile stuff uh, more and more. So a lot of people are developing specifically for apps, uh, phone and for the iPad. For the rest, it's difficult. I mean, there's. Uh, it's very, very different ideas. So it's. Uh, I don't know whether I can name very specific other trends mm -hmm. at this point. Okay, and now everybody, all, or almost everybody, are making apps, yeah? So, um, but um, do people use it uh, w very often? So uh, Apps? Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, um, uh, if uh, we ask some who has um, smartphones, yeah, uh, they are using v very few apps, yeah? And uh, yeah, uh, a lot of people who make uh, apps. So, is it um, does it make sense? I mean, it depends on the idea. I think it's hard to earn um, a lot of money because it's so many trying and there's very little succeeding. It's a race, you know, where you see you have to end up on the, like high on the ranking to get more and more people to download your app. So it's 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 tough to, to, to end up high to keep like getting downloads and I mean most people don't make much money with apps so I, I would say it's very hard and the business ideas from accelerator point of view that we've chosen were mostly platform based and non app related so you might have like an extra channel via mobile but if it's only app it, it is yeah it's very difficult to make a business out of this. I mean, you have Angry Birds, and a great example of uh, you know making a lot of money. But it's these are the exceptions, I would say. So it's it's harder to build a business. You, then you more, for instance, into gaming or a specific topic. You build one, and you know, and then you build the next. And once you've established the name, your apps will get more and more you know downloaded, and it's much easier for you to do the marketing. So then it takes some time also to gain some credibility. Mm -hmm. And now a lot of. Um Fresh startups are focusing into uh, U.S. market, but um, does it make uh, any, any sense? Uh, because uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, people living in India, yeah, all, also um, uh, Brazil, uh, other regions, yeah. So does it make sense to go to the states, yeah, opposed to India or Brazil? Um, I don't know. I think, for instance, if you say India, um, there's a cultural difference already. So, I mean, if you want to go to India, you have to understand the market. Uh, so, uh, so, wherever you're going, you need to understand the market. Um, so, I wouldn't so just say, let's go to China because China is a big market. Um, China is also a very difficult market, I think, to enter. So, it's uh, you have to have a look at what makes sense for your startup. I think, for instance, being a Baltic startup, it makes a lot of sense to use your small country as a test case. It's a perfect way to just validate your business assumptions and just test it out locally without much risk um, and then move right away to like a target market if you want to move to UK or US or Brazil possibly uh, to go there next. And look where your customers are. I think that's most important. So whatever your business idea is, 
where are your main customers um, and then that's where you need to locate that's why you also need to go to establish your HQ I think mm -hmm. and uh, uh, when you got idea when, when you making all uh, uh, the stuff uh, you, you w want to uh, to find an investor, yeah, and uh, how to pitch well. How to pitch well? Yeah. Pitch simple. Yeah. Yes, but um, uh, maybe you can give some tips on presentation. Uh, sure. Uh, wh what is good presentation for you? So good presentation is a very straightforward and simple presentation that states the problem you're solving, very an easy way. What's the pain point? What's the solution? Again, in very easy words. It needs to stress the team, so say what's great about your team, uh, why can you make this happen, it needs to build credibility, so stress what is important about your team, have you know, the guys worked at big cool companies, have they had several startups before, do they have the credibility to make this one, you know, this idea work. Um, yeah, like I think the most important things is to stress the problem clear, the solution clear, have the team in there and stress the market potential. I mean. What, what market you're moving in, how big is the market, realistically, how big of a piece this market can you grab, and how are you going to do this? And uh, be very, very clear and straightforward about the how. And uh, I think that what works best with investors is, um, you know, as simple as possible language, and you know, no complex talk, and keep it, keep it very simple. Be very honest, very simple about what you want to do. And keep practicing your pitch. So if you want to do an investor pitch, the main advice I have, write down your script and keep refining it. So just write it down, start with bullet points, start with the problem, start with the solution, the team, etc. Write it all down and practice the pitch and keep refining it until it's solid, until you can dream it. And the slides you're using should be visual. There should be very little information just to illustrate your point. Because essentially you want whoever you're pitching to, you want them to listen and look at you and not at the slides. So don't use too much information on the slides. Thank you. Pleasure.